Hey yo together and very welcome to the start of two crazy replays today on Moonlight Madness Letter Edition with another TVT. Um I think I really think that is the last TVT in Heart of the Swarm you will see played from me. So lean back and enjoy the show. As we have spawned in the right top position of Moonlight Madness, it is the Blue Terran Ramolito. Or Ramolito, yeah, Ramolito. And I am spawning in the left bottom position as the Red Terran. It is me, Alex Sasher. Woo! So, with the opening, most likely you won't see any surprise uh, out of me. Because I think I still play the uh, or Tejos or the Tool Doom Drop in Heart of the Swarm there. At least we see the gas first, but we see also the gas first for Ramolito. And that is quite something. I really wonder, maybe it was a 11 gas? Because it's so super fast, look at that. It is so super fast. And the barracks is quite even as well. So that that makes me wonder if that was really a uh, 11 refinery or not. But it has to. It might, I mean, it was it was so so fast, huh? And they're just harvesting from the right side, as it looks like. Look at that. Oh, now the left side. Now again the right side. Now the left side. Right, left, 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 right. I don't know if that is completely random, uh, but it looks like, and that's really cool. Oh, now a lot of left. Ah, okay. Factory going down for me. Uh, factory as well for Ramolito. 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 Okay. Uh, ooh, going for the reactor straight away. Look at that. That is really interesting. It's super risky, mm, but you can do it. You can do it. I don't know how good this would be against a uh, Marauder opening. Marauder, proxy Marauder. I guess that would die straight up. Uh, but I'm not quite sure. <laughs> but it's risky against a proxy Reaper as well. But on that map you don't proxy Reaper because here it can get scouted easily, and here the Reaper has to jump up there, jump down there, jump down there, move across here, it just takes too long. Uh, you don't need to proxy a Reaper on that map. Oh, there we go with the starport for both players, well, but Ramolito just with one guess, while well, I got two guesses here. And for me that tells the story of, um, of a drop with Marines and a Hellion, so Hellion Marine Elevator most likely. Could be the case here. I don't know, we will see. At least he's moving out with the Hellion and the Marines to secure map control. And I guess that is completely fine. Yep. So my Hellion will see that and hopefully not die straight away, but could be the case, we will see. Uh oh! Uh oh! No, it survives, okay. Close one. Uh, this build is very strong. I know this build with uh, you get two marines, then the reactor, and make factory helmets, uh, hellions, and make factory starport uh, medivac. But yeah, this build, uh, how many marines do we have? Yeah, six as well. No, seven. Seven, eight marines and three hands. Okay. So you get more marines out, but it's a bit more risky and they are not in time there anyway, so who, who cares, basically. Who cares? Uh, oh, oh, whoa, you can't drop there. No. Nope. Nope, you don't. Uh, he tries to drop here in that spot, but this turret is tanking a lot of damage and he just loses completely. I guess I remember what happened against this guy because he said re uh, at the beginning of the uh, game. I guess I played him twice 
And the first time I lost so hard against this build, which I normally don't, but he executed it so well that I just lost. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, excuse me, please. Behind that we see the command center being produced and ooh, there is a wide open path and the marines are all lined up. Ooh, nice pick up there. Avoiding the splash damage as good as I can. And yeah, he loses. The medevac, full with marines. And in the unit lost tap. <laughs> now you know why this build is so bad. Because it can backfire so heavily. It can straight up win games or you get completely shrecked. And that is what happened right here. Mm, my tank is out. So And the thing is, I hit my timing still quite okay. I'm 20 seconds late. But I dealt a lot of damage. Ooh, the raven! Ooh, the raven! The raven! The raven! Don't lose the raven! Don't lose the raven! Oh, I'm losing the raven there. No! Yes! Oh, that's bad. But he loses the tank. In return. Uh, I guess he will be forced to lift the command center. And he got no viking. He's producing one now. But it's not out quite yet. And... Uh, dropping on top of that tank. Oh, the splash damage might kill my SCV, my means there. Uh, he broke the attack somehow. Uh, he will get the Viking here, which is very helpful. So let's see. Yeah, there's the Viking. He lifts it back to the main base. Oh, will I lose the medevac? No. Yes, no. No, 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 okay. Yes! I, no! Wow, so close! Okay, there's the tank from Ramolito! And he will kill my tank for sure. Oh, yes. But my Viking might win this battle. Oh, but this Marine? Mm, nope. Ah, but I got Marines here as well, so he has to pull the CVs. Ah, too late! Double kill! KO! And he loses a tank here! Oh, so close! And that is why I really dislike the tank medivac pickup in Legacy of the Void. Because such things don't happen anymore. You just pick them up. Yep, safe. <coughs> and that's just retarded in my opinion. Uh, I don't know what happened with that force. Maybe I blocked myself somehow. Which is really bad. This army should have been here the whole time. And now... Yes, it's looking good for me. Ah, this guy is as well. Look at this little... <sighs> Maybe this is the game I was talking about. Yes, this is the game I was talking about in the last video. Not the Legacy of the Void, but look at that. He's not leaving. Uh-uh. Because, well, 17, I'm on 50. Yes, I can win. Sure, he can. I mean, he's behind, but who cares? He can win, of course. Uh, he doesn't have stim, right? No. Uh, no stim. No, okay. Hit point bars. Uh huh. Doesn't do anything. Here's a drop. Very potent drop. Can deal a lot of damage. Could take out stim or could kill a lot of SCVs. Oh, I'm moving across the map right now with a drop as well. That's so bad. Here we go. Reaction is very good. Immediately reaction, but oh, losing the Marines is bad. I got the Viking. That should help me out a bit. Oh, I'm coming back with everything. Yeah, that's smart. I need to defend, but I'm losing all those Marines for free. And he's just dropping on top of the tank. Very nice. Oh, he's clearing two tanks there. Just for Marines. And that's good. In the meantime, there's a drop, his army completely out of position, and now I'm staying in his production. That could deal a lot of damage, but uh, I guess he's fine. Ah, there's still the tank, the Viking will kill that. He got more marines, so he should be able to win this. Yep. Bam! Nicely done by Ramolito. Hmm. 1-1 on the way for me. This 1-1 finished right now. 
So he's ahead in upgrades. Uh, does he have stim? No. So he's behind in stim, but ahead in upgrades. Uh, I got the watchtower. Both watchtower, that's good. And whew, third command center is ready as well. He's producing his command center just now. Additional barracks are coming, as well as the armory, which is good, so he can go for 2-2. Two, two. But he should get stim. Oh god, no. He also doesn't have uh, combat shields as well. That's really bad. And he doesn't know. For some reason he doesn't realize it. So I... Oh, no attack move on that marine. So he loses... And I see the dropships! I see them! Ah, that was so... He wanted to avoid me seeing it, but now he just decides to clear the watchtower, which is okay. And I'm clearing those debris. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Mm, the Viking finds the medivac. Do I pay? Do I pay attention? No, I'm losing the Viking. That's bad. But I saw that, so... Ooh, still in here. I'm trying to get it. And I will get it. Ooh, almost got the second one here. If he didn't pay attention. Scan goes down. Somewhere. Yeah. And he sees my base and he knows, oh wait, I'm still behind. He's 40 supply behind. Because of his uh, Hellion Marine Elevator, which failed horribly. And now he's getting stim. Now he's getting finally stim. But is it too late? You will see. But he's getting 2 2. Uh, that could help him a lot. The upgrade lead. He's going for an assault on my third base. There's nothing there to defend. I'm horribly supply card. Um, there's still the debris right here. I don't know what this army pack is doing there. So, yeah, wait, huh? Uh oh. Mm. A little bit of Stormin. He morphed his commands in a planetary. And that is what keeps him into this game. Otherwise, I would have been able to just run over it, but. Ooh, that's, that's good. Moving in unnoticed. In the middle of the mineral line, then fight. No stim still, but being very annoying. Mm, but the planetary got low, he needs to repair soon. He got so, min so many minerals there, but isn't producing enough. Look at that. That's not good. So now I'm forcing a lot of repair damage. He's moving in. No stim for me, no reaction at all. Oh, that's bad. That's so bad. Nicely cleaned. Oh, losing that many medivacs. That's not good at all. He's fighting back. And that as good as he can. So that's nice. 3-3 three, three on the way as well for Amolito. As well as plus one attack for his tanks. Which I don't have as, as at all. So uh, not good. Oh yeah. Command center, additional barracks, getting the upgrades and the combat shield. So now he dumped all his minerals. And income wise it's looking... Quite equal. Quite even. I like it. A big stim here to take out the tank and the three marines. And yeah, I got a, I got a sensor turret here and some turrets, but he could just move in from here. Oh, a double medivac drop, dealing massive damage. There's not a whole lot to defend. He will lose his auto command. Oh, that's a good snipe. And uh, pulling back the entire army, really helping me here. Killing some more SCVs as he's fighting with them, which means they get the aggro of the marines. And he clears it, but that was a very cost efficient drop, I would say. Hmm. Was okay. Was, was good. The income shows it, as well as the worker. Yeah, it was quite good. Uh, now I'm moving out while I'm taking another base. That's good, but I'm on 2-2 two -two against soon 3-3. Three -three. And then he has the upper hand, although his army is a bit smaller. But it's okay. It's, it's good. 
it's just running over that. And he still has the watchtower, so he has the map vision. Ooh, that's risky. I might lose all those marines. Oh, good thing I pulled them back. So now I see his army. And he scans and sees, uh, he can't go up there. No way, but he took his force himself. Mm, and he's getting another command center here, which was sniped. Look how healthy those mineral patches are. Amazing. Huh. So he's moving left to right. Getting some medivacs here. Ooh. One at least. That's good. And yeah, his 3-3 three, three finishes right now. Uh, a bit of a storment here. Another drop which is spotted by the watchtower here. Ooh. But he's moving to the left and I wonder why that is. Ooh, the drop here gets completely obliterated Shrek whatsoever. So that was... It was a drop right, I guess. Or maybe just marines moving in there. I don't know why he scans the space. It has no reason for me. Yeah, he sees so there are some marines. So I regain the vision of this kind of watchtower. But he just clears it completely. He has a lot of army in those medivacs here. He has one medivac. 3-3 three, three finished for him now. And plus one upgrade for his tanks. So I don't see this drop. Oh, I tried to make some air switch. Maybe into battle cruiser. But mm, that's risky. There's nothing to defend here. I scan his army. I'm dropping. Oh, let's go. Now it's gonna go wild. He's supply capped. Ah, I got a tank. This tank could help me a lot. Yep. Pushing back. Oh, I'm losing so many marines. The tank will get taken out soon as well. Yep, the tank falls. And the marines have the upper hand here. Ooh, that's not looking too good here. He killed a lot of SMEs there. Oh, double medivac drop here. One medivac drop here. He might be able to kill something. Uh, maybe not. But he dealt a lot of damage. He's still active with, the, with uh, his army in, in the middle of the map, so... Hmm. He evened out the game quite a bit. Ooh, he scans. But he knows planetary two tanks, that's not... Oh no, don't, don't try this. Oh, the tank out of position. Loses three immediately. Uh, but he gets a good concave here. But the tank sieging. Is it enough? Yeah, he got enough marines. He clears it with ease. And that was overall not too bad. But he lost quite something. He's going into the natural. Ooh. I'm putting back everything now. Panic, panic, F2, F2. Uh, there are tanks. No, that is a horrible position for him. He gets completely sandwiched, has to pull back. And... Uh oh. That could bite him in the butt. Or in the neck or something. Ooh, this tank is in the perfect spot. Look at the tank. Awesome. I like the tank. With the vision of the medivac. And now I got it. 3-3 three, three again. 3-3. Three, three. I got the upper hand because of the numbers. Ooh. Yeah. I got the tanks. And better income. And structure-wise, it's 7 against 8. So I'm behind in... Barracks? Uh, where are the factories? Oh, three factories against one. Yep, and I got the starports. Still no battle cruiser inside. Oh, bad concave, bad concave, but it's looking good for me. I got the numbers. I got just the numbers. Oh, he loses so many medics. Not just one, but takes a lot of damage here. Yeah. And yeah, hmm. Siege tanks. I guess I got it, almost. And he got a lot of mules, a lot of orbital commands, which is nice, but he got no army left. Look at the production tab. Uh, he tries to produce as much as he can. He tries now to go for the switch, but it's not gonna happen, losing one orbital command. Uh, I just can't go for the planetary. 
because of the marines and the healing, uh, the repair. Ooh, the... Ah, he tried to sneak in from behind. Didn't manage to get it. Uh, the tanks there, dealing good damage to the marines. Oh... He moves in! Oh, all those marines are derping around, that's not good. But he cleans... Oh no, the mistake! The mistake! Oh no! Why would you do that? Oh, why would you do that? That was the mistake. He fo I guess he focused fire one tank with all his marines and then they moved instead of attack. Oh, that was so bad. He holds, yes, but more and more marines are marching across the map and sooner or later he will lose this. The planetary fortress is going to burn down as well. It's burning down. Uh, he loses another planetary here. The repair is not enough. He doesn't see it. He still doesn't see it. Ah, finally he repairs the planetary. Just a little bit, because he doesn't have any resources left for producing... Ooh! Loading up! Where's the boost? There we go. And I guess that is the winning move. Most likely. Uh, maybe not, it's so close. Uh, I guess that wasn't a smart move at all. He got the concave. Uh, look how hard I'm throwing. But still, I win, I guess. Look at the supply, yeah. Another base being taken here. He Lose the orbital as well. And there we go, GG. <sighs> Nothing more to say. I'm out. Two more games, TVP, then I'm done with out of the swarm completely. Most likely for the rest of my life. And then I will switch to Legacy of the Void. So, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, I wish you as always a very nice day and good.